up guys welcome to another video in today's video going to explore some of London's best Semler buns so I became obsessed with Semler a couple of years ago and for those of you that don't know they're kind of the Scandi Swedish version of what would be our kind of run up to pancake day so in the run up to Shrove Tuesday in Sweden and other Scandi countries they make these Semler buns so they're wheat flour buns that are then stuffed full of marzipan and whipped cream and I've got to say they're absolutely delicious and there's loads of bakeries in London now that seem to be offering versions of them so gonna explore some of the different ones find out which ones are the best which ones maybe aren't so good and give you my top recommendations First up have been to Fabrique near Covent Garden. So Fabrique is um, kind of like a Scandi chain um, bakery. There's a few in London, but I saw a lot when I was in Stockholm a couple of years ago. I've never actually tried their Semler before, so excited to give it a go. Um, it looked delicious. So we're gonna find somewhere quiet to sit and eat it and tuck in. found a nice quiet spot down at a park um, just up in Soho um, slightly surrounded by pigeons and um, feel like I'm a bit on the scene in Home Alone 2 in New York about to be attacked for my Semler bun but it looks um, delicious as you can see it's absolutely packed full of cream I can see the marzipan hiding under there a little bit the bun feels really nice and soft you can see the little flecks of cardamom dotted in there as well um, I think there is no real kind of clean way to eat this. I think it's going to get messy. It's probably going to be a lot of cream, but let's give it a bite. Bun is lovely and light and fluffy. You can see on the inside there, the marzipan against the whipped cream. Um, I didn't actually get any marzipan in my first bite, so I'm going to need to go in for another one, I think. But that marzipan is really, really delicious. Um, the almonds have a lovely flavour to it. It's quite a sticky marzipan. I'm going to get a spoon because it's the only way to really like, show you. But It's like quite a sticky, wet marzipan. It's got really good chunks of almond in there though, which are adding a lovely texture to it. It's not overly gritty. Quite smooth. cream's got a gorgeous whipped texture to it and when you eat the whole thing together it's just really good. For my first seminar of the season, I'm loving it. Obviously got to try some more. Got to go back to what I think was my original favourite, which was Badgeré. And Scandi Kitchen also have a whole host of alternative looking seminars that they're offering this year as well. So lots more to try. This is pretty good for a first one. Next up have been to Scandi Kitchen to try one of their weekend special assemblers. Um, I tried their princess one and their Nutella one last year. This weekend they had this epic looking cherry bacon inspired one. So naturally that's a flavour that's going to lend itself quite well to assembler being almond based. So it's got your classic almond paste marzipan at the bottom and then as you can see absolutely lashings of cherry jam in there loads of whipped cream which looks really thick and fluffy and then stacks of almonds on there as well. I remember um, loving their buns last time. I think this is going to be even messier than the last one due to the addition of the cherry so let's go in. Bun again. It's lovely and light and fluffy and flecked with cardamom. You can see 
in the centre. We've got whole cherries there and loads of marzipan paste. It tastes like a cherry bakewell in bun form, but the addition of whipped cream is so good as well. It just adds a lovely creamy element to it. I'm gonna get the trusty fork and get one of these big whole juicy cherries and some cream and some marzipan. The marzipan in this one is very different to the one that was in Fabrique. So it's much thicker, um, not as sticky. A bit grittier. And doesn't have as pronounced an almond flavour, it's a little bit more bitter. I like the flavour combination of this one, but I think the marzipan base in Fabrique's was better. The cherry jam is delicious though especially with those whole plump of cherries in. The bun in this one doesn't seem to have, have as much flavour either, so the texture is great. But I'm not getting as much cardamom from it. So for me, really fun novel flavour. And I love the fact that they've got a few different things going on. I'm definitely going to try and come back and try their tiramisu one at some point when that's on. But in terms of traditional similar components of marzipan and bun and cream, I'd say Fabrique was better than this one. So um, two tries so far, some more to go. Will someone else beat Fabrique? We can only wait and see. So another day, another Semler bun to try. Quite a few other bakeries have started launching theirs now. So I have come up to Karma Bread in Belsize Park area to check out theirs. Been to Karma Bread, managed to get the Semler bun from there. Um, when I first walked in, I was a little bit worried that they didn't have any and um, because they weren't on show. But thankfully um, they had some more in the back that they were making up so got it freshly prepared and um, they've been doing some pistachio ones and also the traditional almond ones and um, I got an almond one today which is the one that they were doing so much more traditional I would have been happy with either to be honest looking at it um, feels very different to the other two I've tried so far the bun feels a lot lot softer and the cream looks a little bit wetter as well um, as it's been freshly made, it may be a bit softer, it may be a bit fluffier. So, gonna give it a go. I'm gonna pull it apart to try and save the mess. Oh, interesting. The almond paste on the inside looks much more like an almond butter compared to other ones I've seen previously. You can see it's a much more darker roast. It's much looser in its texture. It's kind of running out of the center there. But yeah, as you can see, it looks much more like a nut butter rather than a marzipan. Um, I don't know whether they're making it fresh or whether they're buying it and putting it in. Very different to anything I've seen before. Gonna give the bun a go first. Hmm. Wow, the bun is delicious. Best bun I've had so far, 100% much more like a brioche very light and fluffy the nice cardamom flavor to it mm. it's so light i don't know whether it's just because it's been made fresh but the bun is superb it's definitely a lot of filling in there it's oozing everywhere i'm gonna kind of tear and dunk a little bit at the same time go in for a little bit of cream It definitely tastes a lot more like a roasted nut butter versus a marzipan. You can tell from the texture, from how dark the roasted. There's a lot in there though. It's very jam packed. I do actually really, really like it. It's very different to um, traditional similar that I've had so far and I've had previously because it's much more kind of like a nut butter cream burn as opposed to an almond marzipan style eat. But it's really tasty, it's something a bit different. And the bun is gorgeous. 
cream has a lovely sweetness to it as well. I definitely say this is one of the sweeter buns that I've had. Um, the cream tastes like it's been sweetened, the nut butter is a little bit sweet. You know what? Not what I was expecting at all, um, but actually really enjoyed it. A little bit of a twist on it, very different to anything I've had previously. Um, if you're after more of a nut butter style semler bun, then this is the one for you. Hit up Karma Bread in Belsize Park. Up have come down to Meal Bakery. I actually came here the other day to try and get one and they had sold out of their similar buns which was very disappointing. She said that she'd sold the last one literally minutes before I arrived but thankfully I have managed to get one today. Um, bun feels a little bit sturdier, more similar to the likes of Fabrique and Scandi Kitchen. Again packed with almond paste and then it's finished with Chantilly cream which Again here it looks a little bit wetter than ones that I have seen previously. So on to the next one, this is Semler Bun number four. Let's see how it is. So pulling into it, you can see that the almond paste, it's just dropped out, it's very chunky. It's even got like whole almond pieces in there. Again, a lot darker in color, more the kind of color that the Karma one was, but a lot thicker, a lot less like nut butter and a lot more like a traditional almond paste but with chunky nuts in there too. I'm gonna go in and give the bun a try first. This one again feels a lot more bready and more traditional versus the um, the karma one which was more brioche like. Yeah definitely more bready. Really strong whack of cardamom in this one though. Really powerful. The almond paste in this one um, is definitely a lot kind of grittier some of the other ones I've tried. It's much darker in colour and it's got some texture from the nuts and things as well. Um, definitely not like a nut butter. It's got quite a robust nutty flavour to it. It's quite savoury. I'm not getting the same depth of almond flavour as they did from the likes of the Fabric one. Um, it tastes quite bitter in its flavour as well. Try a bit with the cream too. Cream tastes really good quality. Got quite a thick, luxurious flavour to it. Said it was Chantilly cream. I think you can tell. It tastes a bit fattier. It's got a smooth, rich mouthfeel. Not as sweet. Um, this definitely is much more of a traditional similar bun. It's more bready, good cardamom flavour, nice whipped cream. Really like the whipped cream. But for me, the almond paste is a little bit too bitter. For me, I'd like it a little bit sweeter. And it's a little bit um, you know, gritty in its texture. Um, so still a nice one to try, but I think out of the four so far, Karma's bread was the best, but probably Fabric overall is winning it for me so far. Have come down to Bajere, which is a little Swedish bakery just down a side street of Covent Garden, and they um, were the first similar bun I ever tried, probably about three years ago now. But I haven't had one since then. Um, from what I can recall, and the others that I've tried, this is my favourite. So I'm going to take this one back home to enjoy. So we'll see you there. home now with the Badger Semler Burn. Looks as epic um, as I remember. It's a lot bigger than um, some of the other ones I've tried. Almost like double the size in some of them. Loads of whipped cream which looks a bit firmer in terms of its whip versus some of the others that I've had. You can see the almond paste um, kind of oozing out of the side. Looks as good as I remember. Um, 
Smells really nutty as well. From what I remember, this one was absolutely epic. Um, also, as I'm at home, I can use a knife to get into it, which is going to save the mess of me getting cream all over my face. So I'm going to go grab a knife and then dig in. I'm going to be able to cut it so I'll get a lovely, nice cross section of the middle. Bun feels nice and fluffy. So you can see scent is lovely and packed with um, the almond paste. It smells so delicious and it's got a lovely fragrant cardamom flavour to it as well. I remember last time this bun having a really, really good cardamom flavour to it. Again, it's much more bread-like um, in terms of kind of traditional semla as opposed to the brioche one from Karma. So all that's left is to go in and have a bite and see whether it's as good as I remember. So the bum definitely has that really punchy cardamom flavour that I remember to, from it. Um, it's probably the strongest in terms of cardamom flavour out of all of the ones that I've tried so far. Yeah, and that almond paste is absolutely incredible. Without a doubt, the best flavour one I have. The intensity of the almond flavour is so good. It's a little bit softer. It's got some bits of crunchy nut in there, but it's not overly gritty. And the cream, lightly sweetened. So it's got a bit of um, flavour to it. Perfect whipped texture in terms of that it's lightly aerated but not too wet. Um, and then just the whole thing together is so well balanced. That nut paste, I think they um, they roast the almonds or they do something different in terms of how they roast them, which gives it a much better flavour, but so good. Overall, it is so well balanced and so, so delicious. Um, it was the first one that I tried in London. This is now bun number five of this year. And I've got to say, it's still my favorite so far. Nothing beats a classic and um, Badgeray's, without a doubt, has been the best one that I've tried so far. Will any knock off the top spot before kind of I wrap up my assembler tour of the year? Um, who knows, but at the minute it's my number one in pole position. on the list just been to East 5 Bakehouse or E5 Bakehouse in London Fields to get their similar. Um, so had theirs last year um, but apparently they've changed the recipe this year and they've put some um, orange liqueur and orange zest into um, the almond paste I believe. Um, looking at it as well it looks like they've also um, put some cardamom through the whipped cream on top which looks exciting. Um, in terms of size, it's a much smaller, much dinkier bun than the likes of Badger and things, but it feels um, pretty soft and fluffy. Um, so here's hoping it's gonna be tasty. The bun um, looks like it's made almost with like a wheat flour. It looks a lot um, denser than other ones and not as white, almost like it's made with more of a wholemeal flour. definitely got a denser stodgier texture to it and it's a little bit chewier it's not as bready of the likes of badgeret I'm gonna give um, a bit of the almond paste to go mm. it's got a lovely fragrant orange flavor to it it's definitely different to the one that I had last year didn't have the orange in that time The whipped cream, again, is quite different. Some of the other ones that I've tried, it's a much lighter whip. Um, it looks like it's packed with cardamom, but I'm not tasting it massively coming through. Yeah, that bone definitely feels a lot more wholesome, both in texture and in flavor. It's almost got a slightly nutty flavor to it, but that almond paste is beautiful. It's a bit thicker than some of the other ones that I've had. It's not as loose, a little bit gritty, but that orange zest adds a lovely flavour to it. You can't taste the booze from the liqueur at all, just a lovely fragrant flavour to it. And probably still not knocking, knocking Badgeray off the top spot, but definitely another nice, unusual one, one to try, especially because of the addition of that orange.
have come down to Curiously Yellow Cafe, which is in Hoxton area. I've been to this area quite a few times for friend of ours cafe for breakfast and brunch, but I can't say I have ever noticed this place before. And it was only because of my good friend, Siobhan Hotspot Hunters, um, similar guide that um, I knew that this place existed and that they were doing them. So it's a little Swedish um, Scandi cafe and they've got similar buns on at the moment. So in terms of the makeup of this one, it's much more rustic in its look and feel. Obviously the cream isn't piped, it's just been whipped and kind of spread on. Um, the bun has a slightly sort of crackled appearance to it. It almost looks a bit like a crusty roll um, as opposed to a lighter, fluffier bun. Um, and tearing it apart texturally, it looks um, quite like that. But I've heard very good things about the almond paint in this one, which tearing into it, I can see why, because it looks so creamy and almost yellowy in colour, almost like it's custard-like. I'm um, going to give the bun a little nibble first. So the bun is softer than um, you would imagine looking at the exterior. Um, I thought it was going to be quite crusty and quite dry, but it's not. It's quite light and fluffy. Just got a little nibble of that marzipan though, and I have to say, wow. I think it's not traditional at all. It's much more like a almost like a custody marzipan. I've never had an almond paste slash marzipan that's like this before. Um, I can see why my friend was absolutely raving about this one because it is so, so good. Um, it's probably my favorite um, almond filling that I've had from any of the bakeries I've been to. The cream, it's got a nice whip to it. Tastes like it's been lightly sweetened. Not getting a lot of cardamom from the bun. Very subtle. And you can't see, you can see a few flecks, but not loads. But wow, that almond paste is something else. 100% um, almond paste, 10 out of 10 here. Look at it. Another bun tried. If you're a fan of something a little bit more rustic looking, not as heavy on cardamom, and you're after a cracking almond paste, and this is your one. Still think overall my favourite is Badgeret, it has yet to be knocked off, but the almond paste on this one is absolutely stellar. Down at um, Fortitude Bakehouse for the last assembler bun um, of this video which I think is bun number eight now that we're going to try. Um, I'm sure there'll be other ones in London I'm going to try at some point but um, this is all that's going to be featured in this video. Um, so they change them on a weekly basis I think. Um, they had baked apple last week which I would have loved to have tried but today it is rhubarb jam I believe with the standard almond paste in there and then a lovely um, light fluffy looking vanilla cream on top. Um, Looks like quite a soft whip. The bun looks quite golden yellow in colour, almost like a brioche. Um, so excited to give the last one a go and then we'll wrap the video with all of the ratings. Wow, this looks very different. I think it's like rhubarb and custard with some of the almond paste in there as well. It's exciting. So this is actually a very um non-traditional semla bun. It doesn't look like there's much cardamom in the bun, if at all. I'm gonna go in and give it a bite with, um, or a fourth for maybe because it's a bit easier, with the cream, rhubarb and custard. Oh, I found the almond paste. There is a central core of quite like firm looking marzipan hiding in there. Mm. I've hit the almond, that's really, really good. It's almost, almost like a big ring full of it. You can see very, very firm, but loads of rhubarb and custard in there. Very, very different take on assembler. That cream is gorgeous as well. It's got a lovely vanilla flavor to it. And loving the rhubarb and custard, that's much more exciting than the rhubarb jam I thought it was gonna be. So, 
terms of thoughts, um, definitely not traditional at all. Very, very different to any of the others. I kind of missed the cardamom and the bum, but the rhubarb and custard filling was super exciting um, and very, very different. A really fun take on it. Cream was gorgeous, loved the vanilla flavour. Um, and the almond paste, much firmer, much more like a marzipan you would kind of get on a sort of Christmas cake. But a really interesting take in Fortitude Bake Boss House always have interesting bits and bobs. And the fact they change them weekly is quite exciting. So I may come back another week and get a different one. Um, but that is going to be um, the wrap up of all of the ones that I'm going to try in this video. So stay tuned for my top picks. And with that, that is the end of the sort of similar tour for this year. I'll probably try some other ones maybe after this video if there's a few others floating around. And I know there's definitely some that I didn't try, but in total tried, I think, around eight buns. Um, so my top picks. I've got to say that my favourite overall was still Badgeré. Absolute classic, um, great burn, great almond paste, great cream. It was the first one that I ever tried and I've got to say even after trying multiple more was still really, really good. But other top call outs for me, um, Curiously Yellow Cafe, their almond paste was impeccable. Probably my favourite almond paste out of all of them that I've tried just because of how different it was. It was gorgeous. It was almost custody. Top bun, I actually really enjoyed Karma's. It wasn't traditional and bready. It was much more of a softer brioche, but I actually really, really liked it. So that would probably be my top bun. Top whipped cream has got to go to Badgeray as well. The fact that overall it was really great, but their cream was impeccable and you got loads of it as well. But other key call outs as well, if you're after something a bit different, Fortitude Bakehouse, their rhubarb and custard one wasn't like a traditional similar whatsoever and um, they do different kind of weekly specials. So when you go, it might not be rhubarb and custard, but for something a bit different, would highly recommend them. And same with Scandi Kitchen, who are obviously doing lots of unusual ones like Cherry Bakewell. I really want to try their tiramisu when they bring it out as well. And that wraps it up. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I absolutely loved doing this. It was great to try so many different similar. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.